morning everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I got the beast running again today. It was a dead spark plug. I thought it had no gas. Um, wasn't getting gas but it was the spark plug had failed on me. It acted like it was uh, not getting gas or had dirt in the carburetor but that was not the case. So the other day or well when the last time I used it and it died that was the spark plug. So I uh, put a new one in, well, I pulled it out, I checked for spark, I saw that was the problem, so I put a new one in, and as you can see, I'm splitting firewood again, and I got a pretty good bunch of that pile done. I hope to finish it yet today. I'm going to put a little bit more gas in there and get it going. I don't have my tripod, I forgot it, so I'll have to do what I can do today without. It's a pretty flower. See what see? Well guys, time for coffee break. Uh, it's a nice pile of wood. Maybe a cord, I don't know. I almost got it all done, but I need a coffee break. That's gonna be heavy, heavy stuff there. That's some big pieces of wood. I won't be able to do that alone. Getting down to the bigger ones. The really big ones here. So I'll need help. So I'm gonna have a coffee break and rest a bit. 
and get back out here and get working at it. But look, I cleared the ground finally. That was a goal I had. The machine quit on me, so uh, I thought it needed a carburetor cleaning. And we're uh, at the store more than we're home, so that's where it sat. Uh, that's a nice pile of wood, real nice pile of wood. Uh, we'll get that cleared up later on. used to that anymore. That's back-breaking work after working in the office a lot. I'm not used to that at all. That was always hard though. That's heavy stuff. So I got everything that would fit. That's easy to, to split myself. That one won't fit on. I got a couple more that are too long to fit on. And some that just have knobs and ends to be cut off, so they uh, will fit in the wood stove. The old beast is serving me well, really good. This is a log splitter we bought in Michigan after we got settled in, I think last summer. And then uh, that is the engine from that I bought for $50 in New York and had on our log splitter over there. That log splitter I had gotten for free, and uh, that engine is the same one. I'm happy I kept it. It serves me well. Electric start is also nice. So, now it's just a matter of cleaning up, but that's a big deal there. I got some here to cut with a chainsaw, some over there in front of the shop with a chainsaw. We were just dumping wood fast. I had help, and when help is in a hurry, you just roll it off as fast as you can and let them go, because, I mean, they're helping for free. You don't argue with them. And then you deal with it later. But anyway, that's a nice amount of wood. Might have another half cord there. Let's go take you over to the wood pile. That's from our old wood stove. We got a, almost a cord here. And then we've got a cord and a half of oak and a third a cord and a third of pine. Uh, Melanie's helped me haul this over here and I'm stacking it. Uh, we got a cord and a half of pine, a cord and a half of oak, I think. So we got three cord. I need, I want to have six. So we got maybe three and a half with what's out there. So I got to get two and a half, three more. I want to get at least four more actually for the winter. So, by the way, this has nothing to do with anything anybody on YouTube said. This has everything to do with us having a day off. Um, this is a Sunday and our activities are later this day. Therefore, we had time for this, which is not usually very common. We've been so busy with the store and 
Uh, we thought we were going to buy firewood, but we haven't been able to find it for under 180 uh, for a full cord. And that's a lot of money. Then it, you might as well pay for propane. Doesn't make sense then. So, uh, we decided to, decided to crack at it with, as a family this morning on a Sunday morning and get done what we can here. So, I don't know, this is all stuff I cut last year, so most of it is burnable now. So, anyway, we still got a lot more to gather up though. I gotta get out cutting. I think Sundays, from now on, I think Sunday mornings are gonna be firewood day. There's just no other option. I'm just gonna have to do it on Sundays. Well guys, another day is done. Um, ended up not finishing the wood pile because I ended up running off and doing something else. That's a big, 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 big deal for the off-grid homestead and I think a lot of you will be pleased. Um, so, just a little bit of a teaser there. We got something really massive, massively good useful tool for the off-grid homestead which I will reveal on the next video on the next day we did some other projects but that'll be a separate video as well we started a project we'll finish that up on the on that video it'll be its own video but today was all about the firewood and um, I also I did some running today while I was getting this massive uh, tool for the off-grid homestead. I found loads and loads and loads and loads of firewood free for the taking. It has to be cut and hauled and split. So that's going to save us about $800. Um, I've been stressing about firewood. I know in the comments I took some flack, but it, believe me, I have been stressing. I really have. And I was weighing the options about buying propane as compared to buying firewood because I didn't know where I was going to get any firewood this year. And no, those problems are behind us. Now I just have to you know, really make the time and make it happen. So I think Sunday mornings I'm going to be cutting firewood. Our church is in the afternoons anyway, so... I think that's just how it's going to be until the snow flies. So there it is, guys. Another day is done. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon. Get notifications when I upload videos. It's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Processing firewood for the homestead. Good night.